Hello everyone, welcome to Stoneheart Me Bando. We're getting attacked by a few little undeads over here. So we can send over Banto and our footmen to go and fight over here. And I think we should be prepared. We might have some better equip now, I hope. Let's see, Banto got his normal spear. And it looks like we got someone shivering in the boat. Okay, let's send it back home. Let's travel back over. Should we fight on the boats? We could do that if we want to. I guess we can do that. <laughs> Battle on the boats. Okay, let's see. Where's our second healer? Uh, our second soldier? Okay, there we go. I have got to say. Oh, look at that. Look at that equipment, guys. The crab claw, an offhand bronze axe. Cool helmet. That looked pretty awesome. Okay, let's go into battle with your new equipment. Yaksia. Yeah, go, 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 go. Let's make the fight on the sands. Here we go. Fall back with Bant a bit. I got a little bit less equipment, so it makes sense for him to fall back, so Yaxa can take the aggro, maybe. They still do want to get Bant, so I'm just gonna fall back a bit if they're gonna focus on him. This guy is really low, let's go for that guy. And I have a new building I'm gonna show you guys that I've been designing uh, since the previous episode, and uh, I made it uh, maybe a little bit more luxurious looking. I'm not entirely sure for the colorations and so on. And look how active this place is. This is the one I wanted to see when I built our restaurant. Everyone going here. Putting food on these. So nice. We do gonna add in some more foods. Gonna go prepared for both of those. Here we go. So to the new building. The new building is gonna sit over here. This is the new one. So you see, the walls are differently colored. I could have gone for the same one, but I felt it could be fun to try more sandy color. And uh, we have like a little walkway over the road. And uh, down here, they are like separate rooms, kind of. So this could be two different apartments, I guess, of a building. And then up here, you have access for going up here in the back around. Got some tables, some chairs. Uh, some beautiful flowers. It might be kind of hard to build this and maybe we don't want this to be right in front of that. So we might move a few things around to make it sit the better. But it looks pretty much the same at the other side. Add some decorations down here. And the same for this side. And then up here, I'm not sure. We could have a bed on each side. One bed on each side maybe. Could do that. Go in here. Go to beds. And we could use this one, really luxurious bed, I, I think it's... I don't know, I feel like it's maybe a little bit overkill, not sure what you guys think, but I think it is. But maybe like that one, if I can... if I'm allowed to select it. Sometimes you gotta be really quick with those. Um, a red one, maybe? I'm using a lot of blue and uh, yellow for this building, so maybe blue would be fitting. And then we have another one sitting... I feel like they might sit better like that, actually. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, let's go like that. And then downstairs here, we should have some... ...beds too, of course. So they have their doors go in on each side. And uh, we can split this up if we want to. Let's go to bed again. And it could be a two-person bedroom, I guess. Go like that. And if you want, we can divide it so it could be like two different rooms. Can, could go like that. Or we can use a normal wall tool. I'm not a fan of the wall tool. It's um, sometimes with an interior wall like this, I kind of prefer to use a normal block to make it. And then we would have like a door to go into this room. And we're gonna do the same at this other side. Kinda, of. it doesn't have to be actually, so... Let's maybe not do it. So then we have a door to go inside. Or we could use... I think there's another one. I think there's one more that's like always kind of open, but maybe that's the goblins. We put it at the side there, that should give a little bit of room over here if you wanna have like a dining table or anything like that. Or we can have some urns sitting there have some storage because we do need storage as well right like that maybe and then we can have a little flower pot and uh, over here we can have one and over here we can also have another 
And now when messing around with flower pots, I do feel like we could have some upstairs as well. So um, I do like these herbless pots because we can pretty much grow whatever herb we can in, in them. We can use them as either as decorations or we can use them as a place where we actually try to harvest. I think it would be fun to try to have one day. We can have one on every step even. Let's just try that for fun. Sometimes it's fun to try things for fun, right? Go like that, free them. I also do have some uh, planter boxes uh, in front of the windows. Every side, pretty nice. Okay, so uh, let's call that one kind of done, I guess. And then uh, let's do another wall. We're gonna check out the wildcat soon as well. Uh, so this one, um, hmm, I'm gonna kind of divide them into two different rooms. Maybe there's like, maybe they, they don't really know each other. So there's like, it's almost like in a hotel, but not really. You have their own separate rooms. And they have their own separate doors. One red and one blue, I guess. That could work, and it should be possible to squeeze in a bed in there. So this way we're hopefully gonna get enough beds for all my people, hopefully. And there's one block to walk nearby, so it should be possible. Go up like that again, it should be one block near there, yeah. I think I'm gonna have it like that, and other one there as well. And let's go for a different color, let's go for yellow for that one. That's pretty nice, and they can have their own little flower pot. That's pretty nice, and it can be good also to add some flower pots inside, because hard things do love to have some happy homes. And uh, another thing, I guess since we don't have the windows on it. We could add windows at the bottom, but I don't feel like I want to do that. So um, instead, let's look for um, those clay lamps. So these are the ones we hang on walls. can have one in between there. That should be kind of good, I guess. And then we can have one in each room. Might be maybe a bit crowded. Let's see. Maybe where you go into the room we have it. Yeah, that could be good. And this room as well. And since they're a lovely little couple living here, maybe they can have their own little light together. Pretty nice. So yeah, that's it, I guess. And if we're gonna build this, um, these things might take a while. Those are porcelain, and uh, they are a little bit special. We can go down uh, here. I think it's called porcelain. So I think you need special things, molded porcelain. How do we get that? Then we need Mound of Bone Clay, which I'm actually very unsure where you get it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, uh, and we're gonna do what uh, one of you guys suggested in a recent video, which is to remove different components from the building. And since we save it, it's gonna be easy for us to just go back, okay, it looks like that, add back what we had. So very, very good tip from one of the guys in the comments before. So let's remove these, just to make the build easier to do, and it's going to be quite a few things to remove, but it's going to make the build itself go a lot quicker. And we may remove those as well, I kind of know where they're going to be. This is just a way to make it speed up the building process. Uh, these ones I think you can leave, let's look at inside. P clay beds might also be a little bit tricky, so let's see. Oh yeah, we're gonna wait with those as well. Uh, what we could do would be swap out the ordinary beds, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go without any beds at all to begin with. We do need the floor, however. <laughs> okay, let's see what things we have in here. Uh, we do have uh, that still. Here we go. Okay, so all of those things should be should be easy to make, yes. And what we can do now then is take this one and save it again. And then we're gonna name this Fern for furniture. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna name it No Fern. So then we can have like this one, No Furniture. And then we also have this one with furniture. So we can decide which version we want of them. So making them reusable. That should be awesome. Okay, let's build that. Ah, uh, they do have some problems somewhere. There's probably 
probably something in the way. But let's see, we had some wildcats approaching. Oh, they're up here. By the blacksmith, oh no. Where's our blacksmith? Yosef, are you safe? He's safe in his little hobbit's hole. <laughs> okay, he is looking pretty calm, so I guess he's not very disturbed by the cats. They look pretty awesome though. Love their little glowing eyes. Okay, let's go attack those. Okay, Yaxi is on duty. What do we got the bouncer? Okay, he's coming out. I hope he's gonna equip some better stuff soon. I'm pretty sure we do have some better stuff. If not, we're gonna get some better things. Backed by Yosef, it's gonna be awesome. And maybe we can get some potions going. The Herbalist can make some pretty good buff potions. Okay, there we go. God, I'm awesome. Okay. So, yeah. The blacksmith is still kind of a high priority to get things done with, I would say. I just want to see a little bit here what's kind of like in the way at the moment. Could... Ah, this one, probably. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, we're just gonna wait a bit. I hope those trees are not gonna be too close, but let's uh, pay a visit to the blacksmith. But I hope you like the building so far. Okay, let's see. Blacksmith, what can we do with you? Can we make some better things? We could upgrade some tools, a potter's iron cutter, that would be awesome. Because we're using our potters a lot, that would be saving quite a bit of time in the long run. Nice, another one join us. Behel Langri, welcome, welcome. But mainly I'm looking for um, weapons, equipment, armor. But we have a carpenter saw now, I think. So let's see if we can get a carpenter. Just gonna have a little bit of a look on my list to see which one wanted to be a carpenter. Okay, I'm just gonna go for one. Uh, let's see. Pavati Gronda, that would be good maybe. Got some good stats. A high spirit and a high mind is good for a crafter. So with uh, Paravati, we're hopefully gonna get a weaver, and with weaver, we're gonna be able to make um, some things required for making armor. As we can see, if we go inside of here, we need to have leather, and we do need to have thread, and yeah, a little bit of those to get better equipment. And we can also make uh, some equipment with the tailor for the souls as well. And it's also gonna allow us to make these uh, exploration gardens because they also did need some... Oh, they didn't. Okay, so fertilizer. Okay. Okay, now we got a carpenter. Gonna set this place up. We need to go... Oh, we can make it directly. Awesome. Level one. Wow. And now we can also make a bundle of firewood. Which is gonna be great. Because we can use that in work uh, places. But I don't think we're gonna give our carpenter like very many things to do. We're just gonna go for very very basic things. Mm, that one. And for now, I guess I might put the carpenter working behind another house. Everyone is working in the backyard, I guess. <laughs> they could also work in front of the house, but I don't know. It's a little bit odd, maybe. Uh, but I'm gonna go maybe behind here so we spread them out a bit. I did see that we do need a little bit of more trees though, but we have quite a bit of trees to grow now, so I'm just gonna gather and replant those. And we can also do that with cactuses, they also provide a little bit of wood. And since we do have sheep, we're gonna get both wool and we can also turn it into and Fred and so on. That's gonna be nice. A trader approached your town, okay. Ten bronze ingot, we get one giant bone sword. I wonder if that is worth a giant bone sword? I think that's quite a powerful weapon. How long do we have to do this one? Five days? Hmm, I feel like I'm, if I pass up on this one, maybe I'll regret it. I'm gonna make my own weapons. I'm gonna decline that. And as you can see, we're moving quite slow here. Um, so what we can do temporarily is to make some roads. And we can make them look kind of like... They're like dirt paths, kind of. 
go like that, and I'm not sure which color is good. Uh, but we're trying to think about how this one looks, so I'm guessing this one might be good. And try that one, so let's just try to make a little path behind here. And what I like to do is to do these in sections. Because then if you want to later on, we can easily just remove part by part. Now we're just making a road leading up to uh, the blacksmith. And when we get up here, we can continue if you want to, but uh, already these things should have saved quite a bit of time. And what we can do under here, if you want to save, we could save a little bit of time. We can do a temporarily road down here as well. Where we just build like that. Just we can get around quicker, because we run two times the fast on roads, and if we have... Um, the other banner, the banner of cunning, which we... I don't think... We, we didn't go for that one this time. That one will make you move three times faster on roads. So it's like pretty insane differences. And compose. I'm hoping to get some compose from this soon. I don't think it should take that super long. I wonder if I have to combine it. it like, does it become bits of compose and then I have to combine it, maybe. So here we can uh, turn into Shanko Compose with three of these. So let's put out the maintain five always. And I'm also gonna make a new one at the top so we can compose a little bit quicker with two of them. Ooh, we can also make cooking oil now and we grow things. That's nice. Maybe we can get to a little bit more advanced foods then. Uh, but with our blacksmith, since we can't do any better equipment yet in terms of armor and shields, what we can do at least would be to make some better weapons. So this is a level 3 weapon. I think this is a two-handed. No, that's a single-handed. What is a two-handed? Ah, here's two-handed. So an iron war fork. This could be nice. This scares them away. So that would be kind of good. It's for knight and lord. So nothing we can equip at the moment. This one looks kind of interesting. An Iron Short Warfork. I think we're gonna try to... Let's make two of those. Yeah, they're making it directly awesome. Okay, Weaver Spindle has been made, so let's see who could be working with that. I think Dotty wanted to be a cook. I might make a cook later, but for now I might make you a Weaver. Dot level 1 weaver. I hope you're gonna uh, enjoy being a weaver. So this is kind of the door I was thinking about. Something like that. That is like... Kind of open. Like a curtain. So uh, with the weaver we can make these equipments. Pretty basic ones. But mainly I'm after it so we can start making better equipment with the blacksmith. So... We go here, a letter, we need to be level 2, and we'll make a bolt of letter. Gonna maintain 5 of those. We need Fred for doing that also, but since we have a lot of wool, we can turn that into... At least, usually you can. Turn that into some uh, other yarn, I think, yeah. Don't think we can do it. Oh, here it is. It just, it just looks a bit different, okay. Um, and let's say we want to always maintain a little bit of those. Did you already make the spinning wheel? That was super fast, wow. I'm, a <laughs> I'm kind of impressed about that speed actually. Very well, well done. We should really make some workplaces like in real houses soon. I think that should be one of our next goals. To get them inside the buildings. But now I do think we did get some better equipment for the soldiers, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Iron short smitter. Not iron, bronze. And there we go, Banto. He's still running around with his super awesome gear. <laughs> there must be something more available to him. Uh, is he in bed at the moment? Yeah, it looks like he is. Okay, here we have another composting bin. I actually have two of them, so I'm gonna put them both out. I'm not sure if we're gonna need them, actually. Because this one isn't full, so I don't think we're actually going to need it. So let's maybe escape it for now. And if we do need more compose, there's also this uh, veggie mulch thing. 
can take any vegetable and uh, put that in this one. But it feels like a waste if you have bones and rotten food, you might as well throw that in here instead. And chitin, I guess we can throw that in there. I, I don't use that very often anyway. What is this guy doing? Is it Banto? Are you a little bit confused? <laughs> he can't decide what food he wants. Let's try to move him. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he has some rotten food. This is kind of what, what will go inside of the composing bin. Pretty nice. Um, but yeah, let's see. Why w will they not build this? There are some things on the ground here, but I don't think they should affect it. Yeah, I have actually no idea why this one goes red. I might be missing something really obvious. The only thing I can think of would be the trees. I'm actually going to destroy them just to see if that is the case. Ooh, look at that, daily update. We'll be it again. Our net worth is going up so far, and that's like one of you guys said. Probably why we're getting so many big attacks also. Actually, we don't need to harvest that. Uh, but welcome, welcome to town Furkan Asalahar. Welcome, welcome. And we will be naming more, of course. And as always, drop your names if you have any. Oh, look at that. I was thinking that would be that porcelain thing. But that's silver. Here we got marble. I wonder if those are porcelain ores or if they are porcelain boulders. Not really sure. Okay, it looks like we get a crypt over here. I do not feel like we are like really prepared to fight and be grift of undead. But I do think we should be looking into getting a cleric very soon. And maybe we, we will take Arcadia and promote to a cleric soon. We still need a tome though, but I think we should be able to make that pretty soonish. Because now we get a weaver, and when we can make leather, then we can make the book. And that's gonna improve our chances of survival quite a bit. And we might also want to look into the night shield. Oh, we can do it already. Nice. And we may as well also... Let's queue up to do a shield. Oh, this one is really easy to do. Oh, that's only for night. Okay. The night equipment's uh, kind of easy to do. We can make a bronze, a desert shield. Gonna do two of those. So we do need to make these for our herbalist to make the bee keeps. Make these ones. The bee skip. Because it would be nice to get some sweeteners through honey, that would be awesome. Let's see, I wanna see the skill on the farmer. Stone tooth. Oh, I'm getting close to level 2, that's nice. That's really nice. I um, do wonder, maybe we should make the farm a little bit bigger so we can level a little bit quicker with it. But yeah, this, I'm not sure. If you guys have an any idea what this might be, why they won't build this one, do let me know. I can look underground as well. I'm really, really confused. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have a look at this and... Uh, gonna be probably a little time lapse until I get back to that. Actually, first, half a share, guys. Half a share, we get an upgrade. We beat it. That went pretty quick, so... So many happy people so early. Oh, look at that. A lovely day. Ah, gotta love a thing like this. Everyone getting together in town. Somebody is not, but most of them are. Just like real life, I guess. Awesome! Look at the colors and everything. It's so nice. So lovely. This town has grown so much already. I'm so happy with it. 
But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure out the building until I think the next video, and uh, hopefully it's gonna be working then. But guys, I'm gonna end it here for today, and I will be back in the next video. Hopefully, fixed the building thingy. I'm not sure why it's messing up. And uh, also, guys, thank you to my members here on YouTube for supporting me. We got a new one today, so now we're up to three members on the channel. Super cool of you guys for that extra support as a member. So, guys. Thank you for watching, I hope you had a good, good time, and I do hope to see you guys next time. Have a great rest of the day, and take care.